Good evening, everyone. Please, first of all, let me thank the eCore team for uh, let us do this presentation online, helping everybody to assist this Congress, even if we are really far away from Chipre. Uh, I'm doing this presentation in the name of Rafael Martinez Sanchez from Cordoba University, Richard Madwick from Cardiff University, and myself, Santiago Guillamón Dávila from Cordoba University. Our presentation is titled Livestock Management in a Rural Settlement of the Late Roman Baetica Province and Stable Isotope Evidence. First of all, please uh, let me introduce the site uh, where we have carried out this research. The site is the site of Torre Paredones, located in the Cordoba countryside between the cities of Baena and Castel del Rio in Spain. The first finding come from the a date from the late 18th, 19th century uh, where um, um, agricultural labor and in the finding of the Pompeius grave in 1883 and Emil Huber correlate the site with the colony Ituki Virtus Itulia. Nevertheless, recent finding in form of uh, coins and also an inscription in a fistula plumbean correlate the site with the municipium Bora cerealis or Ebora cerealis, a Roman municipium that coined their own coins between uh, the 1st and the 2nd century BC. Up to this day, the only relevant archaeologist's work carried out in the site uh, was the study of the animal remains found in the Machelum of Torre Paredones, uh, that was carried out by Rafael Martinez Sánchez et al. in 2012. In this study, the researchers determined a successfully abandoned phases from the 1st to the 3rd century AD and also the combination of the trade activity with an, a slaughter activity, activity and a more, more religious sacrifice activity. Uh, about the animal remains, more than the 50% of these remains belong to cattle, which was quite interesting, but there also was a surprising amount of tuna remains. The material we have used in our research come from the Western Baths, the Western Baths, a, a building that was built during the first half of the first century BC and that was finally abandoned and spoiled by the end of the third century AD. Uh, from this time up to the end of the fourth century AD, this uh, building was used as a dam where the people of the settlement throw their rubbish, rubbish especially composed by animal remains. Up to today, most of the 75% of the total animal remains of the Western Baths have been determined. What led us with a total of 4,853 animal remains determined. Mostly the 50% of these remains have also been determined up to a taxonomic level being the other half uh, represented by uh, large-sized mammal and medium-sized mammal remains. If we focus on the proportion of the taxons, we can see that the most important part are composed by domestic taxons like cattle, especially pigs, caprins and dogs. We have also a lesser amount of uh, other domestic taxons like horses and chickens, some uh, wild taxons like deers, herons and rabbits, and also uh, uh, some numbers of animal uh, taxons like tuna and selfish. If we focus now on the stable isopotop project we have carried out, we have used a total of 15 animal samples composed by 4 cattle, 4 pigs, 2 goats, 2 sheep and 3 dogs. The analysis we have carried out have been a 15 nitrogen and 13 carbon stable as isotope analysis and the main objectives of this 
analysis were to, deter were to determine the animal diet and the management that this animal have in the past. These are the results of the study plus in a graphic and we have represented cattle by a, a green a square, a, a goats by a yellow triangle pointing up, sheep by a brown triangle pointing down, dogs by an orange circle and a pigs by a, a pink diamond. Now, if we focus on the results and what indicated, uh, now focusing on the cattle, uh, we can see that um, all of them are grouped in the same place in the graphic, which indicate a C3 plant consumption in an open landscape that could be correlated with an classic free range extensive husbandry typical for these animals in this period. Caprins have similar values, which indicate, again, the same C3 plant consumptions in an open landscape, which, again, can, could be correlated, possibly, with a classic free range extensive coast boundary, but we have a goat that have been consuming C4 plant. Peaks are divided between a group that could be correlated with a mixed uh, husbandry practice that could be a free range husbandry um, combined with some kind of semi enclosure ur urban weights feedings. This could be also a uh, proof if we uh, if we focus in some of the remains found in the Western Bath that. Uh, that signs uh, that have signs of of pig gnawing, but also we have one pig that uh, had a really low uh, nitrogen value of 4.2, that could be correlated with a full vegetable feeding similar to actual Iberian pigs. Uh, Canids of the side have a typical up nitrogen values that most carnivores have, but also one of them have a, a high carbon value of minus 18.4 that could possibly be correlated with a pet status, an animal that uh, eat meat but also a C4 plant, maybe cereals in form of bread, for example, and this is also interesting because this animal is a, was a, a small breed, maybe a dwarf dog. Now, if we summarize um, some preliminary findings that we have, that we have uh, seen, we have determined uh, probably a Mm, predomination of free range open landscape whose boundary that was typical and logical for this area, this landscape uh, in, in this period. There is also a possible meat management in beef livestock. This need to be uh, proved probably with some mobility aspects using a structural stable livestock in order to uh, discover it if, in, if this management were carried out all in the side or was carried out in different places from the Cordoba, in the Cordoba, the Roman Cordoba, or maybe the Roman Baetica province, and then this animal ends in the side. There is also a possible nutrition, nutritional difference between different breed of dogs that maybe could also be correlated with the pet status of some of these dogs. And there is also a interesting value that indicates C for plant consumption for one of the goat that maybe could be relationed with a different kind of management, but we need to work more to discover what is happening here. The future of this project is to have uh, to do more stable isotope analysis, oxygen uh, analysis in order to determine the possible uh, the possible transhumancy practice that this animal will have, but also an structural stable isotope analysis 
to study the mobility of these animals. And we are happy to share with you the uh, oxygen uh, isotope analysis that we have received the last week, most, uh, most last week. And in this, uh, we can observe that cattle have a mostly sedentary whose boundary management, but in caprins we can see some of them, like this goat, have a sedentary whose boundary practice, but also this sheep over here has a, what we suppose to is a transhumancy practice. Uh, this is quite interesting, but again, need to be correlated with the strontium volume that we hope can share with you in the future to understand the mobility of these animals and if this uh, husbandry management was carried out all in the site or in different regions of the Baetica province. Thank you all for your attention and please do not hesitate to ask questions.